Hi guys, a really warm welcome back to my channel and to another money saving video. You guys know I love to share videos to help you live your best life on a budget, save money. This time we're going to be talking about saving money but when you're spending money. So hopefully you find this video helpful. Do give it a like if you do and share it with other people if you know someone that likes to save money when they're shopping. Do enjoy the video guys, let's get into it. back on the cards and you know after the last difficult two years hopefully people are feeling more confident to go and get on a plane or the Eurostar pop down to Paris for a little weekend away and in fact my friends and I are looking to do that for our special birthday next year and um, as a big group go to Paris and I will definitely be telling them all about how to save on their VAT when they're out there you know if anyone wants to buy a special purchase or just like if they're buying loads of wine to, to bring home or something because I don't actually think Think many people know that you can claim the VAT back if you live in the UK and you're shopping in the EU because obviously we have to have some benefits for Brexit and this is actually one of them. So let's talk a little bit about VAT. What is it? Why do we have it? How much is it? VAT was introduced in the 70s by the government and it's value added tax. It's a tax that we pay towards goods and services in the EU as a consumer. It's basically money on top of the price that you're already paying for something. So it's currently at 20% for kind of the overall tax, but things like children's car seats are 5% and other things like children's clothes and stamps have a 0% VAT. So now that we are out of the EU, uh, we won't get into that entire topic in this video, but it means actually we can benefit when it comes to shopping within the EU when it comes to VAT. And that is that we can claim the VAT back on any purchases made within the EU. It's like having the duty-free section of an airport for a whole country every time you go shopping. Now 20% might not sound like loads, but believe me, it can add up. So the sorts of things that you can claim the VAT back on are things that you buy that you will bring home with you. So things like jewelry or handbags or tech, basically things that you don't consume within the country when you're on holiday. You have to be bringing it back to the UK. It can't be things like petrol, transportation, tickets to the theater, like things that you're actually doing when you're on holiday, you can't claim the VAT back on but anything that you're bringing home with you you are good to claim it back however it can be tricky so traditionally you would do it in kind of a paper trail so this would be a bit of a nightmare to be honest so you'd have to make sure you keep all your receipts you'd have to make sure you have your documents when you get back you have to do it while you're there you have to get it all basically signed, sealed and delivered and then after all of that paperwork and all of those kind of hours of tracking it all, it might actually get rejected so it would all be in vain. So problems that you would have with traditional VAT refunds, um, paperwork and receipts, so having to keep hold of those, not losing them, making sure that you send everything back, that you've detailed absolutely everything. And then the time it takes, a wasted time eating into your holiday, making sure that you've done all the paperwork while you're there and you haven't forgotten anything and the stress of actually making sure you've done it all before you leave, it's a lot. <laughs> and then for timing, it can actually then take up to eight weeks to even get your refund back. Hidden fees, you may actually have to pay extra to get your VAT back, eating into the amount of money that you will be saving or earning back. And of course, failures. So you may do all of this paperwork, take all of this time, wait all the time afterwards, and it get rejected because you've missed some paperwork. So as I've kind of talked through all the difficulties around the traditional tax refund, the VAT refunds, I want to introduce today's brand partner for this section of the video, and that is WeVat. They are a digital app who are safe and secure and regulated, and they make your tax refund stress-free, easy, quick, reliable, easy to track. They make it totally simple to make the claim. All you need to do is download the WeVat app on the App Store or Google Play Store before your trip. Snap a picture of your purchase invoice, address to WeVat, make sure you are addressing it to WeVat. So if you're in the shop, you ask them to address the invoice to WeVat so that they can process the claim for you. Then WeVat will generate a barcode for you to scan when you leave France at 13 plus departure points. There's lots of different places where you'll be able to do this on your way out of the country. No paper forms, no sending paperwork off, just a few clicks while you're shopping, while you're in the shops, 
and you are good to go. So whether you're having a blowout in the designer stores or maybe you're just stocking up on wine in the Hypermarche before you get home, WeVat are there to help you save the vat and claim it all back simply. And what's great is you can actually track your refund in real time. So as soon as you leave the country, you can see how it's getting on rather than having to wait weeks and weeks and weeks to find out that you didn't send the right invoice in and you can't claim the VAT back anyway. And they'll also get your VAT refund within seven days. So you could be waiting just a couple of days and you'll get your refund back. And you can choose which currency, so whether it's dollars or euros or pounds, whatever it is. And I know people might think, is this legit? Is it like dodgy to do this? They're fully regulated within the UK and the France custom system. Right, so here's the science bit, as Jennifer Aniston would say. There are a few things that you would need to keep in mind when you are doing your tax refund with WeBet. So when it comes to time periods, you need to have left France within three months of when you made your purchase. So for example, if you're leaving France in August, the earliest you will need to have made the purchase would be May. And this only really applies if you're staying in France for a considerable amount of time. Obviously, if you are just going on holiday quickly or a weekend away to Paris, you literally just do it as you leave. And you mustn't be in France for six months either. Chance would be a fine thing. That would be nice, wouldn't it, Emily in Paris? Now, the date of your purchase must be after you arrive in France and after you sign into the WeVat app. When you're shopping, just follow the instructions in the app. You need to ask for the invoice to be addressed to WeVat, as I said, and ask for a factor as well. I probably said that wrong, but I will leave all the link in the info and the link in the description bar. But within the app, it's so simple. You just literally follow the instructions. When you're asking for the factor, don't kind of go into detail of why you want it, just because it might hold things up. You're just asking for a factor if that is indeed how you say it, I think it is. Once you finish shopping, you don't need to do anything. You just literally enjoy the rest of your trip to France. And then when you leave, you just need to generate a, bit, a barcode within the WeVat app and just detail the shops, what you've bought and which shops you bought them from. Oh, a good tip is to make sure that you don't open your goods because obviously going back to if you've consumed it in France, you can't claim the VAT back. So make sure it's in the bag, it's in the wrapper, it's not been opened, it's not been eaten, it's not been drunk, it's not been worn. <laughs> um, so that it just looks when you get to customs that it is still being taken back to the UK in its state that you bought it. Okay, so this is when I'm gonna butcher the French language and I do apologize in advance. When you are leaving, you need to scan your barcode at the Pablo de Tax kiosk. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's very easy to find. Uh, make sure you scan your barcode so that it tracks you leaving the country. Just make sure that you leave enough time for this when you are leaving and have things like your passport, which you will have anyway because you're leaving the country. Within the WeVat app, everything is consolidated so you get your refund within seven days. It's just easy to have it all there and it also complies with all data protection as well. So everything's encrypted and you won't lose any of your data. So I'm hoping that that is kind of easy enough to understand but if it is a bit tricky to kind of if you haven't written down the points there's a whole blog post over on my website which is laradranajarvis.com and it will talk you through step by step exactly what to do simply just get the app from the google store or the play store and it will talk you through it all as well but it's quite good for things like the timings that you need or um, any kind of information that you didn't pick up in this video but let me know hopefully this has been helpful if you're looking to save money in the eu when you're shopping and if you have any tips for paris where to go then do let me know because i'll be planning that over the next year to go next november ish maybe for christmas uh but yeah i'm really excited that hopefully we are going to get away as a group of girls because it's been forever <laughs> since we've done that and i love to save up for that in fact there's a video coming up on how i budget for our holiday so definitely check that one out as well if you are interested in that thank you so much to weave for sponsoring the video i will leave all the links for you in the description and i will see you guys very very soon take care bye